plus video. So you've been mining and you found your new, uh, you find yourself a zombie spawner. That's cool. You can get rid of these. You won't really need these. You can take whatever you want out of those um, chests. But you'll see you'll get some zombies spawning. How do you stop the spawning? So you'll need um, some torches. Torches, 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 torches. So you'll want to place a torch there. A uh, torch there. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Zombie. Torch there torch there and might as well take place one on top as well um so what's what do you want to do you definitely want to clear these guys out so these are done and sort to clear them out goodbye mr zombie goodbye mr zombie goodbye. goodbye goodbye and these torches will keep everything from spawning in later so what we want to do is we want to go out by four blocks from the spawner so i'm actually going to do this one, two, three, four. So that's four blocks there. And then you'll want to go out by four blocks here. Two, three, four. And then you'll want to come four blocks this way. One, two, three, four. And then four blocks this way. One, two, three, four. Um, so that's where you'll want to build your outside walls. So we'll go ahead and start building that. And you'll want to go two above and two below. So that'll be like this. Perfect, just like that. And you can get rid of all this cobblestone, you won't need it. Um, if you want to keep it, that's fine. If you want to be part of your um, box here, but I'm just going to get rid of it and I'm going to use smooth stone instead for the top. All right, so now we have, um, we have a one, two, three, four, five high room. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wide. So that is perfect. That's exactly what we want. So let me get rid of all this for now and then I'll add back on some torches to make sure these guys don't spawn in. Okay, now we do the next part. So the next part is water flow. So you're going to want to put your water in this exact format. And then where you see the, the end of the water source, you want to go down by a block. So I'm actually going to have to place in blocks down there. You'll have blocks below that. But wherever the water ends is where you want to get rid of your blocks. So we're going to do this this way. So just going to place a block there. And then just build out from there. Just like this. And once we get done with this, you'll see what happens. It'll make our water run to the edge of the room, as opposed to what we want. Okay, perfect. So now you'll see we get a water stream to the very middle of this uh, room. And that's exactly what you want. Then you want to just have your water stream going out as far as it goes. Try that again. There you go. Perfect. All right. So this is going to push the zombies all the way down this and they're going to fall to whatever your killing chamber is. So that's the first step. If you guys know what kind of killing chamber you want to use, you can stop watching the video here. If you're not worried about the lights and the connecting of all that stuff, I like to have these lights and I like to be able to turn them on and off to stop spawning in here. Um, so if you're interested in that piece, hold on one second. 
um, but we will come back and show you the the killing mechanic as well as hooking up all these lights so uh, I will catch you in the next video so alright so we're gonna make our shoot to make these guys fall straight down so again they'll come right here hit this wall go straight down so we need to build a kill shoot so I'll go one more rung down here so I like to make these out of glass so you can see of course you're gonna be digging straight down here to whatever um, point you want to uh, mobs can fall I believe 21 or 22 blocks before dying so um, what we want to do is make this platform uh, let's say let's say we'll make it 22 I think 22 will work so let's go down by 22 blocks um, let me find some glass here to use glass perfect so where they're at here is I believe 69 so if we go down to 40 9 would be 20 and then 47 I think is where we want our kill chamber to be all right so let's say that we like that I'm gonna put a piston right there or a, sorry a, um, we're gonna put our hopper right there and then I'm going to put my chest right here so we can put our chest like this perfect now so this is where you have to kind of decide what killing mechanic you want to use um, let's say you don't have any tridents yet and you don't have a real good get way to kill these guys so what I like to do is use half slabs to kind of make a little opening where we can kill the guys at. So you'd want to put a half slab here so you can stand at this general area. And then put a half slab over your hopper. So their feet are going to be right here. So they're going to fall down this thing and you can take out your sword and you can just hit them all in their feet. So um, let's, let's go ahead and show you how that part works. So we'll need somewhere to stand, so I'll make this little platform here under this chest. So this is going to be our little platform to stand on. And then we're going to stand right here in front of the chest. Uh, this would probably be fine. Um, just standing like this perfectly. So your ads are going to fall down, they're going to hit that block, and then you will be good to go. So let's uh, go ahead and start the spawning so I can show you this part. So if we knock out all this. Alright, our guys are starting to spawn. So just put that guy back in and we'll see them fall through this hole. Perfect, that's exactly where we want them. I'm going to switch this to survival real quick so you can see me actually killing these guys. So yep, we're going to get some points from that and all their drops will fall into this hole. So that would be perfect for just a regular... Oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> no creative, god no! <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Okay. <laughs> Am I still in? Oh, my gosh. Oh, bad things are happening. So let's go back to creative for a second. <laughs> that was fun. Um, so, yeah. So this system is pretty much done uh, when you don't have tridents. So what's an easy way to get tridents? So I would say... 
if you want to um, get an observer would be good so let's grab an observer or sorry not an observer a dispenser excuse me um, so grab yourself a dispenser and I would just put it right here so you're just gonna place it there and um, glass grab your glass so other thing you have to think about is where do you need to be for these guys to keep spawning so there may be a ver there's a vertical like limit to how low you can go to have these guys still spawn so you probably need to think about that as well so we're gonna grab a water bucket as well and I will show you guys how to make these guys into uh, drowned so if we grab a water bucket and we just place that water bucket in this dispenser and then I'm just gonna grab a button or sorry I'm gonna grab a lever actually so let's grab a lever let's go down to the base here we're gonna plop this lever on and we're just gonna turn that on and we're gonna wait see him start to shake like that that means that something's about to happen to him boom there's your drown so you can flip this on and off you should be able to Oh, you have to flick it twice. Okay. So now you have a drown in here. So now you can kill this guy. He might or may or may not drop a trident. But uh, that's kind of what you want to do until you get your actual trident is just have guys spawn. Um, so the other thing you need to figure out is like what, how high do you need to be for this thing to still spawn? I, I don't remember the actual range. I think it's like 12 blocks like uh, from the bottom of the spawner. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12-ish. Maybe you want like a little AFK platform right here. Um, and then let's see if we get more guys spawning when I'm standing here. We may have to go up one more. So this is at 69, their foot level. Uh, the I think the actual spawner is at... 72. So if we went down to... 62 that would be 10 and 60 would be 12 so I think if we stand right here we should still get spawns but uh, the other thing you want to think about is how far your guys are falling um, they need to fall I believe it's I believe it's out of the spawn out of the detection range of um, the mob spawner so you can see they're just building up right now but they will continue to build up indefinitely um, while I'm standing here why are, why are these guys glitching out here I'm not really sure but uh, I would put your I would put your AFK spot somewhere in this journal vicinity um, 12 blocks up so we're gonna say that that's good um, we're good with zombies for right now and we're gonna turn all these guys into drowned so we're gonna make this sword a looting three sword so now we have two swords we have one that's looting three and one that's not looting three and that'll be important for the next part of this video so um as you can see all of the regular zombies changed into um drowned and then the villager zombies don't don't convert over to drowned which is fine so let's just see if we get lucky and we get a try it here it may not, it may take you a while. So you can see we got a gold bar. The drown drops gold, the uh, villagers drop like silver and um, they drop silver and they drop um, uh, God, my brain. They drop silver, potatoes, and carrots. Uh, so you have a possibility of getting that stuff. Build out this um, this circuit that we're going to use for our trident killer so we're just going to break these blocks I'm going to put a thing right here you see we just got a iron block with our looting three that's why looting three is so good for this guys you really want to have a looting three sword while you're doing this it's very helpful 
So we got our sticky piston there. That's perfect. I can just put regular blocks here. They don't have to be. Um, they don't have to be glass blocks. So we're just gonna drop, put this right on top of that, and then you're gonna grab yourself a trident. Uh, you probably want two or three. So I'm just gonna grab this trident, and I'm gonna put it in the place of this sword. And we're just going to throw a couple of tridents in here. One, two, three. Perfect. Um, grab my glass again, and I'll replace those glass blocks that we lost. All right, so that's the beginning of our trident killer right there. So now all we have to do is create the circuit that's going to make this trident killer run. So what you want to do for that is put a repeater here at one tick and then you're just going to build out a little redstone line over here like that and then you want one block here and then a block there and a block there break that guy out place your repeater then that so now you can see we have trident in there um, you may want a lever as well to be able to turn this on and off because sometimes your tridents glitch out and, or you'll accidentally pick them up or something. So if you turn that on, then you'll see that that happens. And for some reason, we only have one trident in here right now. I'm not really sure why. So I'm going to throw a bit more tridents in here. So that should be enough. Then we'll put our glass back in. Done with the sticky piston for now. Put our glass back in here. Don't need that piece. Turn it on. There we go, that looks better. So now we have all of these guys going at once. So again, if I go up to my AFK platform here, and I stand right here, we should get zombies starting to spawn. Here they come. They get killed. Maybe able to go down a little bit. So there's a certain point where you can stand and you will still get the the all the XP. So do you see that? I it kinda like threw all the XP up to me. So you can see we're a little too high to grab the XP there too high there and then right there we can grab it so you would probably want to push all this whole system up maybe five blocks but it doesn't really matter for our purposes because we're not really worried about the xp but again make sure you're holding the looting sword when you're doing this um, and that is pretty much all of that done so now the next thing we want to talk about is i want to make uh, a circuit that turns these on and off so I'm just going to make a line all the way around this with redstone on it. And then probably each corner we'll put um, a repeater to make sure that we have enough signal to get up to this. So let's put a repeater here with redstone blocks. And then we're going to have a circuit that comes from right here maybe. Um, we're probably going to need an actual block here with a lever on it, so well, that's not a really block. A block here with a lever on it. And then that will activate redstone from... Should activate this redstone maybe? Up. So now we can just tower up from here. So I'm going to put redstone here. And you can just tower up with glass all the way up this. Here. And then put glass here. 
way. Just keep doing this all the way up till you get all the way up to. Um, and you want to make sure you use glass blocks for this because it passes the red note stone signal through it. Uh, I believe we actually finally lost our red note stone, stone signal here, so we'll have to put a little repeater here to continue the circuit. Put a repeater there. Uh, put a piece of redstone here, and then we can just redstone back this way again. So if we put a piece of redstone there, maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Let's see, we could put a full block here, maybe. Would that make this one powered? Yep, perfect. So now you can just tower back over. So you can build that little circuit to keep yourself going up in the right direction. Boom. Boom. All the way up to the top we want to go. Again, if you don't care about being able to turn this farm on and off, that's fine. You won't have to use this part actually, but um, I think it's a good thing to have to be able to turn this on and off. So I think we actually need to activate the block below this. So, hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Sure. Uh, if we put a repeater there, there we go. So you can put a repeater there, and you can just run the rest of your line out this way. Then we'll have to do a little bin for the repeater here. Repeater right there. Uh, didn't do that right, did we? Let's put a repeater right here. Boom, that one's on. That's what we want. And then... Continue our redstone right here. I'm going to put a repeater right here to strengthen the signal. And continue out this way. And then make a little here. And just continue down the line all the way around. Perfect. Uh, we actually don't have to continue that way anymore because we already have that fixed. So now, if we look inside of here, we shouldn't be getting any spawns from this spawner now. So that'll block all your spawns. So you could break this out. You could go in here. You could work or do whatever you need to do inside of here. Or if your um, your farm is short enough where you're still activating. Um, this this uh, spawning area which is what I would suggest if you're not just uh, killing by hand uh, maybe moving the spawning spot up maybe five or ten blocks uh, probably yeah probably ten blocks would be fine um, but if we go through here and we flip this lever again that'll turn everything off it'll turn all these lights off and we'll start getting mob spawning again so that is basically it guys if you want to use this circuit to, for lights to turn it on and off, that's how you do that part. Here's how you do a repeater to keep your, your um, tower going up once you run out of signal. Um, and then just add a repeater into each of these redstone uh, lights, all the way, redstone lamps all the way around. Boom. And that is it. That's your whole getting caboodle done and you can just stay in here all day and get your drops but again remember to use your looting three sword that way you're getting more drops and then also if you want to make um yeah so we should have talked about this so one more thing you may want to do here you may want to turn this off grab these tridents and then let's put our, our um, thing back in right there. And then we probably will want some kind of sign. So let's try putting the sign here maybe. 
I don't think we can place it here. Or could we place it here? I wonder. No, we can't place it there. So it has to be placed here. The only problem is I don't think that's going to flow enough to uh, actually turn the zombies into... We'll see if that works or not. So try that now. So now when we turn on our water dispenser, it shouldn't break the, uh, it shouldn't break our carpet, but I don't know if that's going to be enough water to, uh, cause the guys to turn into zombies. So I got to figure out how this part would work with the, the trident killer. Really, this is probably best used, um, when you're actually going to um, when you're actually going to kill them yourself without a trident killer uh, it just makes it a lot harder to do um, when you're actually going to not kill them yourself see that's the other thing is these guys are going to die before they turn anyways so really we don't need this at all so I would say if you're going to kill um, them via the spawner the, the um, trident killer just don't even worry about this circuit. If you want to leave it in there and try to figure out on your own how to make that part work, um, that's fine. You can maybe have someone in a system that like has a trap door that runs for about 20 seconds or so until they turn and then drops them through to the killer. That might work. Some system like that. But we're not going to design that in today's video. Maybe we'll think about that for another video another time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and leave a like and comment and let me know if this was useful for you guys. I've looked at a lot of mob spawners um, and they don't really go with the current update so this is this is a great one for 1.12 and plus. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day.